My friend Hannah is shown in this sketch by her sister. Gertrude was a talented artist who painted the murals that were seen in Philadelphia at Wanamaker's department store, Jacob Reed Men's Store, and other places, including the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts, where she had won scholarships and was commissioned to paint these murals. Gertrude captured Hannah here as a young dramatic actress, resting after a performance in her father's home in Philadelphia. As you see, when she rested, their greyhound, Angel Gabriel, had to rest too. Above the drawing is a lovely photograph of Hannah standing in the garden, telling her little Shi Tzu Ming, stay. Notice that the distance from her hand to her dog is the same as the height of the dog, which was very small. These two portraits span the half century between the early 20s and 1972. The photograph was taken in the last summer Hannah would live in greater light. Gertrude painted these scenes in 1912 when she traveled in Europe and North Africa. One of them has a woman seated on a horse near the Rock of Gibraltar with white buildings in a Moroccan landscape in the distance. The other shows a wharf scene on the Tagus River in Portugal. The drays, or two-wheeled horse-drawn carts, would bring bricks and lumber down to the wharves to be loaded on barges bound for Spain or other ports. Gertrude didn't consider them as great works of art, but purely as mementos of her trip for her family's enjoyment. Most of the pieces here are not redecorated or mended to any great extent, but show their age honestly, as Hannah herself did, as you can see in her portrait painted by Helen Cordellis Gilbert of Boston in 1960, still dignified and beautiful. You may notice that Hannah's head didn't quite reach the top of the elegant little gentleman's armchair, still covered in rose velvet, there beneath the portrait. She was only five feet tall, but size was forgotten in her presence.